Hooker swap headers for a Hemi in a Dakota? Yes, sir. Welcome to today's video, you guys. You can tell from the title, you can tell from the intro, I am pumped. Huge shout out to Holly Performance for sending over these Hooker Black Heart headers for this 6.2 liter Hemi going into this Dodge Dakota. So if you guys don't know, Hooker offers a swap header. What does that mean? It means that you can take any Hemi and put it into a Dakota and they make the headers that are bent and wind in the right places so that you can directly swap in a Hemi into your Dakota. They sell the engine mounts, the transmission mounts. I've covered all that stuff in another video, so I will link that above here so you guys can check that out. And we'll also be showing you guys how to install that stuff. These just arrived though. I'm gonna unbox them, show you guys what they look like and tell you a little bit more about the project, but let's open that box up. you guys sheesh that is no joke man these are quality beats look at this You guys, I don't even wanna put these things on my truck. These are so nice. And so just to give you a bit of specs on these things, these are for a Gen 3 Hemi engine. And the list of instructions shows what they fit. So 5.7 liter, a 6.1 liter, a 6.2 liter, which is the Hellcat, and a 6.4, as you guys know the different models. And these are an inch and seven eighths runners. So these are some hefty runners. We're gonna have plenty of airflow for our application, but guys, look at how nice these are. So every single one looks like it was hand polished. So they took all of the weld out of there and just smoothed every single one. And they didn't stop there. They even did it on this side as well. So this is a three inch exit. So we're gonna have plenty of air coming out of this thing, but look, all the way through, even the merge and the collector, they got in there and they went ahead and you guys can probably see. They went ahead and <laughs> ported all that and made everything smooth. So these things are awesome, you guys. And you know, you can't beat the welds on this. They're just honestly a, a work of art. So I do like on this side. So this being our driver side, you get the nice badging there, the little nameplate hooker Blackheart, and you can see we're ready to go. As far as other notable details, I'm gonna do a completely separate install video for you guys. So I will have that as well, but there's a list of instructions and you do have to use, well, you don't have to, but it's recommended to use their engine mounts because these were specifically designed to use the engine mounts that Holly does. Uh, support and make for these. So these were designed around that. You could probably make your own, but it would just make life so much easier to use the stuff it was designed for. You get all your hardware, some stickers, of course, who doesn't like stickers? And I will show you this one. Let's get this one up on the bench so I can show you compared to this, but man, they are both amazing quality and very nice. They did leave the bottom, like you can see these are open-ended. So they do this so that you can hang your gaskets and everything prior on the bottom and then you just hook it on and then you install your four top bolts as well. So let's get the other one up here and I'll show you guys that one too. So this is our passenger side, you guys. Whew, look at this. This is just, like I said, a work of art. So this one does have that little uh, port that goes there from the head. So they did include that, which is good. And like I said, both of them are completely ported inside. Any of the burrs or welds were completely smoothed out inside. It doesn't matter if it's on uh, the collector part or right here on our runners. Like I said, every single one is perfect, you guys. Spotless, couldn't ask for a better header. So as far as the installation details, these were designed to work with either a driver or passenger uh, starter. We will have to, since we're gonna be using the 8HP90 on our Dakota swap, we're gonna be using a passenger side mounted starter motor. So you can see our starter motor 
is buried right behind this header here. So it is a little bit difficult to see, but it's right here. So these will come off and it is just gonna fit through here. And I also have, uh, we do have to notch the frame a tiny bit and we have a filler plate from Hooker Blackheart to fill in that notch. So I'm gonna be detailing all that stuff for you guys and showing you guys exactly how it installs. But just right here, seeing them on the bench, the quality and the workmanship on this, you guys, like I said, I almost don't wanna put these on. You can hang these on your wall as a work of art. So huge shout out to Holly again, you guys. I'm gonna give you guys that content, putting these on. Any questions you have on these, like I said, they fit all the Gen 3 Hemi engines that I listed there, 5.7, 6.1, 6.2, and 6.4. And they do have a list of what can fit in configurations, which transmission you're using. If you're using the 8HP90, 8HP70, if you wanna use the 46RE that's in the Dakota, like they list it all. Check out their website. I will link it down in the description below. It gives you full details on what you need, all the different parts, and I'll be installing them here shortly. But I wanna do a quick little review for you guys on these headers before they actually go in. So we're getting real close to doing this Dakota swap, you guys. I'm just waiting on an oil pan and we're gonna get underway. So it's not gonna be long. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel so you guys are notified of all the latest videos. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and you guys wanna see these headers go in this truck and we'll see you guys on the next video.